Good Friday. Nope. <laughs> it's not the well, Lord's you could. Day. I could, but it's not the day of the Lord. <laughs> it is a good Friday, though. Welcome to the Snack Show with Jamie Fallon. We're just a couple gals snacking our way through life and talking about it. Sipping and laughing and snacking and chatting. <gasps> Majors! <laughs> Food tastes better with funny friends. I just laid the snack down is what I'm saying. Ooh. This is your first time in a podcast studio. Jamie, why in the H-E double pretzel sticks did we start a podcast? That's a great question that I don't remember the answer to. Happy Friday, <laughs> snackers. Hey, guys. How you doing out there? Great. Good. Fallon and I are just here on a rainy day in Nashville, Tennessee. It is rainy. And today we are moving into the last snack of a day. Late, Late night, night snacks. snacks. Uh, y'all, who? I mean, let's just talk about a good late night snack. Or fourth meal, as Taco Bell dubbed it, in which I like to call it. Yeah. Do you ever participate in a fourth meal? Uh, yeah. From Taco Bell? Uh-huh. <gasps> of course you do, Jimmy. Man, when I, um, I worked in the music industry, so I used to have to go to concerts mm -hmm. quite often. Mm -hmm. That was, um, and my roommate did as well, that would be our swing through on the way home. Did you have a regular? Yeah. Bean burrito. <gasps> Oh, that's that's uh, brave. I felt great. A bean burrito right before bed. Yeah, <laughs> I was by myself. Who cares? <laughs> Is that it? Nothing else? Yeah, just one bean burrito. Just because you're like kind of hungry. You ate dinner at six. It's like eleven thirty. You've been okay. running around a venue all night, and so you just need a, a fourth meal. What's on the bean burrito? I've never had one. Beans and cheese. That's it. And red sauce. The like no lettuce. No, it's just beans and cheese and oh, mild sauce. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's just basic. Protein before Sick. bed. You got to get that protein level up so you don't wake up in the middle of the night. Is that true? Yeah. That's science? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Because so a lot of times um, uh, if you wake up in bet that w between 1 and 3 a.m., mm -hmm. sometimes it's because your blood sugar has dropped. Interesting. Because it's been so long since you've eaten and so that your blood sugar drops in your sleep and then that wakes you up. Sounds like instead of protein, I should just be eating sugar, sugar, sugar. Well. Well, yeah, but then you wouldn't maybe fall asleep in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you'd have the crash. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, Got those fiber-filled carbohydrates with beans. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I did some research. Of course um, you did. Of course. We, late we, night This would not snacks. be the snack show if Fallon has not done research. <laughs> well, I was asking myself, why do late night snacks exist? Like, why are they even a thing? And so I decided to do some research about, like, what's happening in our bodies that, like, makes us crave food at right before bed, 10 p.m. or 9 p.m. or whatever. Okay, first of all, yes. let's back up. Yes. What's your time clock for a late night snack? Sure. You just said 9 p.m.? <laughs> And I just I just wanted to give some context so that when people know we're talking <laughs> late night, I'm using air quotes very heavily. What's our late night? We are in our 30s <laughs> if it's not showing. Um, yeah, so I'm usually in bed by 10, asleep by 1030. And that's – sometimes I like to be in bed even by 930. Oh, man. Very recently I've been hopping into bed at 930, but I read my book for like an hour. So Ooh, I'm still right. not going to bed okay. till 1030. Those are my goals because I try to read every night and I literally will get a page in and fall asleep. It's almost like Pavlov's dogs where it's like I open mm -hmm. a book, start reading, and it tells my body to you fall You got to have a good story that keeps you going. Well, the book I'm reading is amazing. Oh, well, I just... I don't know how to help you then. I think it's because I'm in bed. I need to move to the couch maybe. Yeah. Which, that's a good question before I get into my um, research... Do you late night snack on the couch or in your bed? Oh, at my couch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to get those crumbly. I was going to say I would find a <laughs> melted M and M peanut butter M and M at some point if I tried to eat it in my bed. It's just, <sighs> and then I have to do the work of washing my sheets and remaking my bed. It's just sure. not worth it. Not not worth. It's it. Not Let's worth keep it. it on the couch. If okay. I was in a hotel bed, bed, mm, bed, sure, bed. sure, sure. Because there's just, well, there's usually not couches in there. Unless, Sometimes. Okay. Can't hide money, Jamie Crockett. <laughs> Sometimes you got to sweet with a couch. I don't know. You need to adjourn in your day. <laughs> okay. So we can thank our late night snacking to our circadian rhythm. Look at you. So pretty much it's a, your circadian system is your internal clock that controls and performs habits that you have throughout your day. So honestly, it's... If you're if you're a late night snack and you've made it into a habit and your body just knows it's time to snack, snack, snack at that late night hour. I uh, am not a scientist. Yeah. 
But my pushback would be I go through phases of that and then I will go through five or six months of not late night snacking. You know, that, so that could it, be part of the rhythm. So that it's not it's not an always a habitual I've created it. It will never go away. Well, because as we've talked about with my um, snack of the week a mm-hmm, few mm-hmm, a few episodes mm-hmm, ago, mm-hmm. I went through a late night toast phase. You did. Nighttime. Through, just nighttime, nighttime toast. toast. Nighttime toast. But I haven't had nighttime toast in a month, a month and a half. Hmm. But have you had other things? Not really, no. Well, maybe your 20,000 nerve cells just needed a break. Maybe they just regenerated so fast they're all new. It's true. Well, I'll say a couple other reasons. According to a really um, expert website I looked on. Wikipedia? No, (laughs) healthline.com. Oh, great. That's way better than Wikipedia. (laughs) Sounds like I think it's WebMD's sister. Um, Not only could it be because it's a habit, but just boredom, just sheer boredom. Like our our bodies want to do something. So if we're sitting on that couch, you know. Yeah. What better to do than just snack, snack, snack? Yeah. Um, Why do you late night snack? Like personally, why do you? I usually get hungry. Okay. I mean, sometimes something just sounds really, really good to Mm -hmm, eat. mm -hmm. But usually I'm like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. What should I eat before I go to bed? Honestly, for me, it like helps me wind down. Like if I'm on the couch and a couple hours earlier I had dinner and I'm about to watch a movie or a show, it just feels like a good pairing to be like chomping on something while I'm watching something. Yeah. I don't know why. Hmm. Um, Okay. So that's the reasons why we're late night snacking. Do we think that the movie theaters taught us this? Because every time you go to the movies, you Mm -hmm. get snacks. And so then when you're at home watching something, then that's trained in your brain to want to eat and snack. Regal has infiltrated (laughs) our circadian system. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Regal. We appreciate it. Um, Okay. So before we go into our personal favorite late night snacks, Taste of Home, the website, have you heard of it? Um, No. You did. You you moved right past. You asked me, <laughs> and you didn't even leave me room to answer. No, uh, I have not. No, ma'am. Um, so they put out an article back in February of this year talking about fifty late night snacks that are popular in the world. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to talk. Is about there it. any? Um, is there any talk of how they acquired this list? Is it just an editorial? It has to or is there do a... something with Meghan Markle? Huh. It says we love Meghan Markle and love that she's a fan of late night snacks. <gasps> Oh, we need to call her up. I was going to say, it sounds like there's a the guest snack for our show. Mm-hmm. We pulled this collection of our favorite all-American, oh, they're all-American snacks recipes together with her in mind. Okay? So these are some snack she ideas. She must have for your mentioned it in some interview, which she sparked must the have. article. Okay. Number one, pizza rolls. 100% Tostitos? Tost- I, Totinos. I, I always get this I mixed up. I think I've had pizza rolls maybe once in my life. Oh, I love pizza rolls. They're so good and they're so easy. Pop them in the microwave for 30 More seconds. More than pizza rolls. I used to have those b- pizza bagel bites. Oh, yep. Back in the day. Pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Wow. <laughs> that got pulled from a place <laughs> in your brain. I don't know if anyone knows where that exists. <laughs> I thought you were going to jump right in. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. I got that. I Commercial just, on lock. I just ate it, not saying it. You <laughs> oh, okay. Know? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Moving on. Chewy caramel coated popcorn. Interesting. I think popcorn for sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally in for the popcorn. The chewy caramel before bedtime. Mm-mm. I don't feel that. No. But I appreciate the popcorn. Okay. This is very aggressive. Spicy barbecue chicken wings. No. Uh uh-uh, uh. We're not having that. Okay. This is good. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, yeah. Classic, classic. Um, Pepper sausage pizza. Again, aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. Um, What else is fun on here? Anything weird where you're like shocked that it was on there? You would love this. Deep dish beef and bean taco pizza. Okay. (laughs) She's back in the game. I don't hate that. I don't want to make it, but I'll eat it. Uh Uh-huh. Um, some fun, funny ones. Did you say that? No, ones that you were surprised. Like oh, surprised. Um, or weird. Pretz. Okay, this is a bread bowl with cheese dip right before bed. <laughs> no. Yikes. What are they trying to do to Meghan Markle? She's never going to wake up again. Or when I'm like tired making a bread bowl and all that's just also, a lot. Also, who of- has a bread bowl? I Unless know. you're driving over to Panera. I don't have a bread bowl at home. Maybe people just keep those big loaves and then they just scoop it out when they want to turn it into a bowl. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, the last one on here, mustard pretzel nuggets. Now, that that makes more sense. That sounds good. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, 
Okay, Jamie. I think late night snacks are just like a good carbo load before you sleep, you know? Right. And as you said, it keeps us snoozing. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to hear some of your favorite late night snacking. Well, popcorn. Of course. Of course. Are we fall are we volleying back and forth or am I just listening? Oh um, yeah, let's volley back and forth. Okay, Fallon, give me one. Um, well, do you do anything fancy with your popcorn? Because I do. No, but Shocking no one, there's going to be an intricate system of how Fallon eats her popcorn. Go, go, no, go. Oh, no. So shout out to my bestie for the restie, um, Whitney. We've been uh, best friends since we were three. Uh, cute. Yeah. Anyways, our favorite thing to do is do, we used to live in New York together, so we spent a lot of late nights together snacking. And um, we used to do popcorn with parmesan cheese oh that is good to put that on there oh my gosh and and the way we pop our popcorn we don't do it in the bag we do the kernels in the big like dutch oven pot that's we you've lost me in the workload oh girl i'm gonna come over and we're gonna do it and you're gonna like you're gonna your eyes are gonna be open the taste is so much better it's more fresh you can do certain oils like you but i don't even have one of those pots so well i'll bring over one well i'm just saying how do i do this when you're not around i'll buy you a dutch oven pot they're like at tj maxx for like 10 bucks Wow. Yeah, they're cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay. Mm -hmm. You coat the bottom with olive oil, so it's like fully covered, but not like a lot. It's mm -hmm. just fully covered. Put three um, popcorn kernels, heat it up, wait for those three to pop, and then you know it's ready. You pull, pour the rest of the kernels in, put the top on, pop, pop, pop. Take out the popcorn into a bowl, sprinkle all that Parmesan, shake, 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 mix, mix, mix. The best popcorn late night snack you've ever had. I just put the bag in the microwave, hit it to 230, <laughs> and then bring it out, pull open the bag, and then uh -huh. insert my hand. Sure. That is a good way to do it. Although I will say, devil's advocate, is it 230? Is it 245? Is it 215? Well, Depending just made, on the microwave, uh, you never know. Well, my current microwave is 230 because I just made popcorn this week. Okay. That's, that's good that's to how, find out. But I don't know anybody else's system. I just feel like there's literally a two-second... It goes from pure, well, done, you, ready to if burn, you burn, don't, burn. If you don't hear any popping in two to three seconds is when you're supposed to take it out. So you just they have to be standing that. there. Yeah. It's not one you can just put in the microwave, walk away, and when it's done, you bring but it But you out. know you always get confident, and you're like, oh, I'll be back in time. And then you go, and you you run an errand in yeah, your yeah. bedroom or so your bathroom, and then you're I like. I just hawkeye that microwave for all 2.30. <laughs> that is patience. I I um, applaud that. Um, and then I will say sometimes with the popcorn, we like to pair it with brownies. I've never done that. <gasps> it's good. It's a little salty, salty with your popcorn, sweet, sweet with those brownies. Yeah, mm. I do that with M&Ms. Ooh, see? Similar, similar. Yeah. Sweet and salty, but never a brownie. Oh, try a brownie because the, um, the like crunchiness of the popcorn and then the softness of a brownie is a great mixture. But then you have to make a whole plate of brownies. You're really working hard for your late night snacks. Okay, a whole plate of brownies. <laughs> Jamie, you literally <laughs> stir powder and water and oil together. Yeah, and together. you have to wait 20 minutes for them to be cooked. Well, you do that when you're making dinner, and then you eat your dinner, and then they're ready for your late-night snacking a couple hours later. See, you are forward-thinking, or, yeah, you're planning ahead. Yeah. I am all of a sudden ravenous. It is 10.04 <laughs> p.m., and I have to find something immediately in my kitchen that will provide... Relief for my hunger. I I get it. I get it. Um, okay. I want to hear another one of yours because I feel like I shared one with my crazy Are we – um, well, I said a Taco Bell bean burrito. Ooh, yes. Let's talk about Taco – why is Taco Bell associated with late night? Well, they had a whole campaign. I mean, they did. They okay. created fourth meal. So, okay. like, they pushed – in the marketing world, to I know, but be don't you that. think they like reacted to that because people were coming late at night? No, and I think like, they were trying it? to get more people to come late at night. Like now, really? Taco Bell has a breakfast menu, and I'm like, oh, it's because nobody thinks of you until 12:30, and you're trying to get people to come in that 10 to 12 window. Okay, okay. I would say if I was going to do a late night snacking trip to Taco Bell, I would get now a Mexican pizza. Now that they're back, yes, I like to do the tortilla chips with the cheese dip. And then I just like their classic soft tacos. Well, I mean, if I'm eating a meal, I mean, let's be real. I ate Taco Bell yesterday, and my meal was a bean burrito and a soft taco supreme. Oh, what's what makes it It has supreme? lettuce and tomato and sour cream on it. Oh, nice. Uh, and it's ground beef. But Is it, though? Well, <laughs> that's the title. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> but at late night, you don't want to eat a whole meal because then you're too full. So bean burrito is honestly just like the perfect amount of food where you feel like you've gotten some food in your system, mm. but you haven't eaten a whole full meal. Sure. Fair, fair, fair. I mean, if I'm going wild, I'm getting a crunch wrap supreme. Ooh, yummy. That's like the quesadilla looking thing. Well, yeah, it's like a hard, it is a full soft tortilla and then they've like all the things in it uh-huh. and then a hard like a tostada Uh and then they fold the soft over it so it's soft on the outside crunchy on the inside cheese and meat and lettuce and tomato and all the things it is just that is exactly what I'm gonna get next time it's a texture palace that's what I'm gonna get next time Hey, snackers. So I got to give some love to my dad. I love him so much. And he shares some really interesting stories about his childhood growing up on a farm. I know there are so many more stories, though, that I've never heard before that I would love to know about his life. So I recently heard about StoryWorth and how they make it so easy to capture these incredible family stories all in one place. I loved it so much. And I actually recently gifted my dad StoryWorth that he's creating now every week. Let us tell you more about it. So StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your dad or an important parent figure connect through sharing stories and memories, and it preserves them for years to come. Every week, StoryWorth emails your relative a thought-provoking question of your choice from a vast pool of possible options. Each unique prompt asks questions that you've never thought of, like, what's your favorite fondest childhood memory? Or have you ever feared for your life? Or maybe, like, what's your favorite snack ever? Oh, my gosh. (laughs) We should have StoryWorth add that. (laughs) We should. I've really enjoyed seeing the questions that my dad gets to answer in his weekly emails from StoryWorth. Most recently, he answered, how did you get your first job? Oh, Jamie, I cannot wait to hear that answer. Mm -hmm. After one year, StoryWorth compiles all these questions and stories, including photos, into a beautiful keepsake book the whole family can share for generations. Isn't that so cool? It is so cool. So this Father's Day, give your dad or any father figure in your life a meaningful gift that you can both cherish for years to come. StoryWorth for a limited time will let you save $10 on your first purchase when you go to storyworth.com slash snack show. That's S-T-O-R-Y-W-O-R-T-H dot com slash snack show. And you'll save 10% on your first purchase. Um, okay, I have another one. Okay. Reheated pizza. Oh, wow. I, I have a very hot Not take. fresh. Reheated. I cold. just eat it cold. Yes, I knew you were going to say that. I also love eating like leftover Thai food cold. Interesting. I've I never like, tried that. I like most foods cold later. Really? I don't know. I'm weird. Hmm. No, oh, we knew that. Yeah, I was saying, not, not a <laughs> news flash by any means, but just a little tiny reiteration. Okay, love it, love it. Okay, your turn. Um... Okay, this is new, but I started making overnight oats. Oh, This is thanks to TikTok because my <laughs> For You page showed me things. But I started making these overnight oats, so they're just in little Tupperwares in my fridge. Oh, cute. But I actually really like eating them before bed. So they're pre-night oats. Uh-huh. <laughs> they're just nighttime oats. <laughs> Wait, does... Um, do they do what they need to do? Then? Well, I've made them a day before. Oh, it's got not it, got like it, I made it. it at dinner and ate it at you know, 10. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Because when you make it, they usually last like like you. People make them for the week, so they last three or four days in your. It's like mushy, right? Kind of, yeah. yeah. So it's like oats and chia seeds, and then like whatever milk I use, oat milk, and then there's all these different ones. It'll be mm. like um, peanut butter chocolate overnight <gasps> oats or lemon blah 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 overnight oats. And then you Yum. add other stuff in. So like this, I just made one that had some peanut butter in it, and. Um, Oh, there's a banana that adds like some of the consistency. <gasps> Fun. And then it's just kind of this whole thing. And then, but it's just like kind of like eating a yogurt or a pudding before bed. Can I go but... over from some some overnight pre night oats? Absolutely. You okay, can. great. But then, but it's got you know like it's got some protein in it. It's got some other things. Uh-huh. So got as you said, got to get that protein. Before it just bed. doesn't give you that sugar spike before bed. That's true. Um, okay, here's my next one: salted chickpeas. Things just, I just okay. pop. I'll put chickpeas in a salad, but I never eat them by themselves. Oh, you should try. Okay. (laughs) Do you make the chickpeas yourself or do you buy them that way? Both and. I've made them in the oven by myself and I've also bought them in a bag. Do you prefer one over the other? Um, There's definitely a better crunch when I buy them, but I think that's user error. I probably could be doing a better job when I make them. I I make mine in the air fryer and then they get crispy faster. Okay, classy. I'm coming over with my chickpeas. Great. Because then they don't have to cook so long in order to get crispy. I feel like the oven bakes them Mm -hmm. where they 
you know, but they don't right. get cr- like crispy, crispy. How long do you think you'd have to air fry them and they'd be ready? I don't know. I Googled it last time I did it, but I can't remember the oh, name. Oh, so you've number. done it before. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But that's what I'm saying. I just usually use them to add to like salads and things. Yeah. I don't just eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, try it. I'm going to say seven minutes to make them in the air fryer. I'm coming over. That is so much faster than my hour and a half I am in the a oven. very strong air fryer proponent. I've never used one. Actually, I'm going to go to for my next late night snack. Okay. My new favorite thing to make in my air fryer are sweet potato fries. <gasps> like Whoa. long, big, like steak fries. Sure. You just cut up your sweet potato really long instead uh-huh. of, you know, like into cubes. And then I make them in the air fryer. Are they crunchy? Um, Not too much, no. Because okay. st- I make them like steak fries where they're the bigger, yeah. softer, which is what I like. I mean, you could make them shoestring and make them crunchier. You know, I we're hitting slivers here. Yeah, I know. I We've talked about this. Have we? Maybe just in friendship, maybe okay. not on the podcast, but I'm a, I I'm, a forgotten. I'm a steak fry proponent, and, yeah, and I am a shoestring. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm like, and you're a sweet potato, and I am a classic potato. Yeah, but you could make yourself French fries every okay. night in your air fryer for a late night snack. How much is an air fryer? Is this something I'm gonna have to invest in? I feel like you could get one between sixty and a hundred, like not the oh, big, way big, cheaper big than ones. I thought. Way cheaper. I was thinking like two hundred bucks. Those are like, there's big ones where there's like two different bins where you can be cooking two things at once. Mm. There's massive, like large ones for family size. Like mine probably makes enough for like two to three servings if I were to make something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm coming over with my potatoes. It's a very worthwhile investment. I got mine in early quarantine and Mm -hmm. it's changed my cooking trajectory. I eat way more vegetables than I used to because it's so much easier than the whole baking and all the things. Yes. Thank you. Air fry. You're making us healthy. Yes. Okay, next late night snack on my end. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Plain tortilla chips with just shredded cheese sprinkled on top in the microwave. Simple, simple cheesy nachos. Basic nachos. Basic nachos. That's a good one. I would add more if it wasn't a late night snack, but late night snack, you got to keep it simple. Yeah. So, yeah, I like to pop them in 30 seconds. You're good to go. I love that. Again, we talked about this in, um, I think, the Cinco de Mayo episode, but you got to layer the, the chips cheese. and the cheese. Yes. Or else well, you're going to get one piece with all the cheese. And now jumping back to the Cinco de Mayo episode, for me, yes. a late night snack, a little tortilla with butter rolled up into uh, like a taquito. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We love that. I still haven't tried it, but since that episode, it's been on my list to try. And you haven't done it yet? I haven't done it yet. Okay, great. Well, I'll make you one. <gasps> I have some little street tacos at my house right it now. So it's like we're about to have a late night snacking party <laughs> at your house. Just a smorgasbord of food. <laughs> I love it. Okay, your turn. That was mine. I oh, just right, said it. Right, right. Okay. I was going to give you another one. Classic, classic. Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Chips and French onion dip. Oh, that's a any time of the day. 8 a.m., 8 p.m., I mean, midnight. I love Lay's potato uh-huh. chips yeah. and French onion dip. It's actually the only time I really like plain potato chips is when I have the dip to go with it. Uh-huh. Yes. Do you have a favorite French onion dip or dip at all? The one with the red lid at Kroger. <laughs> Nice, class. I think it's also maybe Lay's brand or something like that. Okay. Um, the one I get, have you heard of Hell of a Good? No, but bless you. <laughs> it is. It's literally called Hell of a, H-E-L-U-V-A, good exclamation point, French onion dip. It is really the best French onion dip out Is it there. a powder where you have to make it into no, the No, no, no. It's, it's just, it's, it's it's just, just a, like it'll be very similar to what you get. Where do you get it at? Um, I, Kroger, I think. Okay. It's just like one of the fun... Uh, French onion dips out there that has claimed to be the best and I can confirm it is. All right. I am willing to try that. <laughs> Actually, I have to uh, thank my stepdad for that because he's always been a huge fan of that dip. And I tried it once when he got it and it's so good. Great. Mm-hmm. Jamie, what about a late night snack drink? Well, does a popsicle count? Yes! Okay, great. <laughs> Wait, what kind of popsicle, though? Well, it depends on the time of year. Now that we're getting closer to summer, just like a fruit flavor. Okay. Uh, like a mango or a mm. raspberry or, you know, just, just a little popsicle. Are you a popsicle on a stick fan or a popsicle in the bag fan? What's a popsicle in a bag? Those um, those icy – okay, there's lots of different names for them. People call them. Um, they're, oh, otter pops is what I call them. Okay, yeah. You call them otter pops. I think I call them icy – what do I call them? Well, honestly, I don't like popsicles on a stick. So when I say popsicle, I'm thinking in a bag. In a bag. 
Uh, I just posted this meme about what do you call these? And I said otter pops. And people are like, never even heard of it. And I showed people all of the different flavors are a different little otter with a name on it. And they The brand that you get? It's a brand is called Otter Pops. Okay. okay. And so then every color is a different little otter with a name. And they must have only been sold on the West Coast because everyone that grew up out West was like, oh, my gosh, Otter Pops. And everyone mm-hmm. else was like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't think that brand was in Michigan because I don't remember that either. Okay. And the, ba- and the box that it came in, it was like a cardboard box, was like striped. With oh all the yeah, different uh, colors. Uh, different. Yes, yeah. interesting. Oh, gosh, I, um, love those I like all popsicles, but I think what I'm talking about for late night snacks is a popsicle with a stick. Okay, see the mess. The the thing I don't like the mess. But you just put it in a little bowl, and then you have the bowl with you on your couch, and so then when you're hold, you eat the popsicle, and then you set it in the bowl, so that if it drips, it's not your problem. Okay. It's the bowl's problem. Yeah. That, that's a good point. I like that. Resourceful. I think if I was eating a popsicle like outside where I didn't have the ability to sort of control the scenario, mm-hmm. a bag's way better. Icy pops. That's what you called that's them. That's what we called them. Icy pops. Um, okay. My next one is also a liquid, but more liquidy. Okay. Um, a melted liquid? Yeah, melted liquid. Just a little glass of rosé. Oh, simple, always. Simple, simple, simple. Yes. I also love, now that it's summer, just a little mm-hmm. Aperol spritz Ooh, before bed. Oh, girl, do not get me started. Okay, can I tell you about my favorite spritz in town? Yes. Il Forno, new Italian restaurant in Wedgwood, Houston. Theirs is called, they have an Aperol spritz, but they also have one called the Il Forno spritz. Instead of Aperol, they do St. Germain, girl, friend. I don't know. Aperol is my favorite part of the drink. I don't know that I can lose it. We'll just try it once. I will. I'll try it. It is so good. I actually went to a pretty nice Italian restaurant earlier this week, and I had my first Aperol spritz of the season. (gasps) Love it. Love it. With some lasagna and some ravioli, Mm -hmm. and it was delicious. Do you Have you ever tried a Campari spritz? Yes. I like... See, I don't. I do. Too bitter. So a Negroni is what a basically Mm -hmm. is, you know, the Campari version, and I like that as well. Okay. Spritz it up. Um, Okay. That was great. That was so great. I have some new ideas for my late night snacking. Thank you. And obviously, we have a plan to hang out. Um, okay. So last question for you. While you're late night snacking, I want to know what you're watching. Shows? Yeah. Shows, movies. Like, what? what's what's the hot ticket on Jamie's TV these days? Mm, great question. Do you want me to start? Well, I was going to say what is just wrapping up is This Is Us. So I'm working my way through the last few of those. Okay. Um, there's a few other shows that I still watch week to week. Um, I'm on the marathon run of Grey's Anatomy, in which I've watched a show since it came out. And I feel like we're at kind of mile 23 of the marathon, where it's like, I'm tired and I don't want to do this anymore. Uh-huh, but if uh-huh. I stop now, I'm going to be really upset with myself. Sure. So we're just trying to finish out the marathon. Wow. We're committed. And every time they kill off or someone leaves that I love, they just bring in a new attractive male that keeps me <laughs> Keeps there. you focused. Keeps you focused. Can you guess how many episodes of Grey's Anatomy I've watched? One and a half. Zero. Zero? I've Even never wa- watched one full episode. 18 years ago, you didn't see one? mm I never got into it. Oh, and now it's like how, there's 20 seasons yes. or whatever. I'm, I would never start. No I would there's never no start way. now. And I'm only committed because I've been committed from the beginning. And oh. I just feel like I need to finish this journey sure. together. Have they stopped the show? Like, is it done? Or? No, they just f- renewed it for, I think, one or two more seasons. And I'm like, <sighs> please take us out of our misery. Right? Why didn't they do that with Friends? I don't know. They're on, I think, season 18. That is Wildness. Wild. That is too much. Okay. The show I'm currently watching that I have been loving to pair with my late night snacking, Love on the Spectrum. Not it. Oh, my gosh. I know you love it, but I... It um, is the most heartwarming, beautiful, amazing... Oh, I just love it so much. I have a really hot take. I don't like anything reality shows. Really? Yeah. Nothing? No. I mean, I've watched a few, like... Currently, I'll be watching Love is Blind while I'm on the treadmill, but it's because I need something that, like, I don't need to pay attention to while okay. I'm doing that 12 three thirty that I also learned on TikTok. <laughs> Love it. Love you, TikTok. I'm just kidding. I'm not on it. Um, okay. I'm using it for useful things like you are. overnight oats and you workouts. Are. You are. You are. You are. Um, okay. Let me just give one last plug for Love on the Spectrum because I love it so much. It's not really a reality show. It's more of a documentary. Uh, yeah. I'm just... Uh, if it's one documentary, but when there's multiple episodes, like even when a documentary is like four or five parts, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. The thing I love about it is, so the whole thing is um, 
folks that are on the spectrum start to date for the first time. And it's so interesting because they obviously feel and think the same way we do. They just communicate it differently. So it's almost like I feel like they understand where I'm coming from because they like have the feelings and nervousness that I do going into a first date, but they like talk about it. Like they're not scared to be like, I'm nervous or I'm scared or like, you know. Yeah. And I'm, I just feel like I learn from them. I'm like, I just need to be more open and honest. That's cute. Yeah. So love on the spectrum and chickpeas. What a night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Anything else you're watching? Oh, what else am I watching? Oh, there's a PBS show that just finished called Sanditon. I've never heard of her. Um, it is, a, there's two seasons out. I love a good masterpiece classic. You do. You I do. love, 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 mm-hmm. love. And so this is another, um, like 1800s period show. Love it. So if you liked Downton Abbey or mm-hmm. Poldark what? or there's another one that was on PBS, you might like this one too. Do you have a certain late night snack that you like to pair with Santa Tin? No. I don't, um, I don't. Maybe a sandwich? <laughs> No, ma'am. I just go where my spirit leads me. So whatever I'm craving. But you know, I crave weird foods all the time. Yeah. So you just never know what's, it's true. what's going to happen in my kitchen and in my belly. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So my other show that I like to watch that I actually just finished season four, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, I watched. Love her. Yeah. So much. Love it so much. I watched the newest season, whatever, back in March when it came out. Mm-hmm. So it's so, 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 so good. good. And American Idol just finished. That was a big show for me to watch. Have you ever watched Grace and Frankie? No. It's on Netflix. Is that the old woman show? It's Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin. Mm-hmm. And um, I really like it. <gasps> okay, I'll have to look into it. Is it kind of like Jamie and Fallon? Kind of. It's an adult show, but. Okay. Great. Um. Okay. Oh, man. I'm ready for some late night snacking. Man, I could just use a good couch binge with like a big bowl of popcorn. Same on my ca- I just disease. need a night, one of those nights. Let's get our um, date on the books. Can we? And the cow? Yes. Are you free next week? Can we make it a standing weekly? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't do anything else. I need to be wearing soft clothes eating food. I'm sorry. I have a commitment weekly that I have to attend I to. Would, I would date. Yo. Sorry, everyone. I have can- a date. Let's make a pact. We'll call the date so people get excited for us. And it's really uh, and you we, and I snacking. And we don't tell and anyone any feelings. details. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I'm just going to be coy about my date. Yes. It's fine. I don't I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> How was your date last night? It was so great. We had such good food. Our hands met in the popcorn bowl. <laughs> it was really tender. <laughs> popcorn me tender. Um, okay, Jamie, before we leave, let's say it together. Snack, snack of the, the week. week. We will never get our tones in the same. Let's try one more time. One, two, three. Snack, snack of the week. week. <laughs> that was kind of harmonized. That was. Okay, great. Cute. Do you want me to start or you? Um, I don't care. I want you to start. Okay. I was in St. Louis this week, and we asked around about some local places to eat just because we wanted to oh. experience the local culture. Love it. There is a custard place called Ted Drew's. D R E W E S sounds like a Ted man for me. Ted, I love you. Not Ted Cruz. No, Ted, Ted Drews. Drews. It, it has been in St. Louis since 1929. Okay, and it is um, custard, so you can get concretes or sundaes. And we tried several different flavors. Okay, but one of them was a vanilla custard with lemon, actual blueberries, and graham crackers inside of it. <gasps> and Holy smokes. You got me on the graham crackers. It was so good. I also tried s'mores, which was graham crackers, Mm -hmm. marshmallow, and Mm, hot fudge. You love a good marsh. I love a s'mores so much. Oh, so good. But if I lived in St. Louis, it would be a problem. Uh I would be there all the time. Yeah. Fair. And it's cute. It's just like a a little old building. So you stand outside and order. You don't there's nowhere to like go in. Okay. And they have a little gift shop next door uh-huh, uh-huh. where you could like buy a shirt, kind of the history of it since it's been around for almost 100 years. Wow. So I love you, Ted. Oh, love you, Ted Drews. Now, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Ted Drews versus Andy's. Ted Drews. <gasps> I know. What? You know how much I love Andy's. It's because Ted Drews is a local. So they come up with new flavors all the time. Like, if somebody orders something, then they make it a thing. Like, it's just a more local feel, whereas uh-huh. Andy's is great. It's just a franchise. Okay. 
I mean, it's similar in like it's the same thing that it's custard and it's taste. Mm-hmm. And Andy's is what is available to me here in Middle Tennessee. Okay. But Ted Drew's. Ted Drew's. Mm, okay. So I had a snack of the week, but I'm going to flip it and reverse it because you have inspired me. Okay. To change my snack of the week to something that is so good and similar. Okay. I was in Memphis recently. And Ooh, they, our, our snack of the weeks are travel I snack know, they of the really weeks. are. And there is a snow cone place called Jerry's Snow Cones. Oh, girl. Why is it always men's names? I know. So the thing about Jerry's Snow Cones is it it's not just a snow cone. They put vanilla ice cream in the snow cone. Did you know there's a place here in Nashville that does that? <gasps> what? Retro Snow. It's what? a food truck. I had no idea. Yes, I love Retro Snow. And... I mean, it's at like all, parks at all the different uh-huh. events and things, but uh-huh. they have some of them are just snow cones, but some of them have oh. ice cream inside. So I had no idea that was even an option. And I like like a snow cone here or there, but you add vanilla ice cream to it, oh. it takes it's a whole nother level. See, I would just prefer it just straight snow cone. Oh, but maybe you try it again. I, I love ice cream, <laughs> but I just if I'm doing a snow cone, I just want the ice. Oh, it was so good. We had a um, I think we did like a strawberry or a watermelon mixture. Mm. Oh, it was just. Man, shout out to Jerry's Snow Cones. If you haven't been and you live around Memphis, run. I wish that Snow Cone um, were were as available here as they were in Hawaii when I was there last year. Because I ate a lot of Snow Cones. You did. And I could use more in my life here. Same, 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 same. I'm going to put that on my summer bucket list. More Snow Cones. I think we're craving summer because we just (laughs) said... (laughs) couple of the best (laughs) summer snacks out there we did we're ready summer we're ready for you okay happy late night snacking to you jamie happy summer to you fallon you too i'll see you next week i'll eat more snacks before then